Yellow Productions presents the best food courts in Singapore. Now, if you're wondering why I'm starting this video going down this escalator, it's because the first food court we're going to start with is the one in basement level four of Iron Orchard. It's my favorite food court. But before that, let's talk a little bit about food courts and why am I doing this on food courts? As most people know, Singapore is a foodie city. It's truly an international food destination, and some of the best food in Singapore is served in the city's hundred hawker centers. Hawker centers are these outdoor open air establishments with lots of different food vendors. Unfortunately, because they're outside and open air, they are really hot. And for someone like me, who's not used to the heat and humidity, I sometimes prefer to eat in an air conditioned food court. While the food you'll find in these food courts is often more expensive and maybe not quite as good at the hawker centers, you can eat in air conditioned comfort. In this video, we will visit my top six favorite food courts in Singapore. So the first one we're going to be starting with because it's my favorite, so we're going to start with that one, is called the Food Opera. And uh, this is on Orchard Road. It is right outside the Orchard Road MRT. You go down uh, two levels on that escalator and there's tons of really great stalls. My favorite stall is this one. It's the Singapore Fried Prawn Noodle Store. They specialize in prawn noodles and carrot cake. And you see them here grilling up nice and fresh. I had the uh, King Fried Hokkien Mee and the carrot cake. Hokkien Mee was $10 and the carrot cake was $6. Truly delicious. My second favorite stall here is the Barbecue Chicken Wing Stall where they've got chicken wings cooked over an open flame. You can also get saute. They're truly delicious. And he cooks it the traditional way with a fan. That's just cool. What I love about food courts in Singapore, you can really tell what you're eating. At this stall, they specialize in roast meats. You know you're gonna get some duck meat off that roast duck. There's no hiding what they're doing here because all the kitchens are open kitchens. You see the chefs doing their thing. A Singapore delicacy is Hainanese chicken. It's chicken essentially served over a rice that's been cooked in the broth of the chicken. And Sargent is a chain across Singapore that specializes in this delicacy. It seems so simple. Chicken over rice with some spicy chili sauce and soy sauce. Truly delicious. Though. In the center of the food opera, like in the center of most Singaporean food courts, they've got the one stall that sells drinks. This stall specializes in seafood. You can tell it's fresh. It's right out there on ice. They've also got an outpost of one of my favorite Japanese restaurants, Pepper Lunch, where you can get the fast food steak served on a hot cast iron skillet. This stall specializes in authentic Indian cuisine. One of the things I find about a lot of the Indian places in Singapore, they prepare the food. It kind of sits out here. It's often served at room temperature. At the handmade dim sum stall, they've got lots of different varieties of dim sum served all day long. I love it. I never understood why dim sum is a lunch only thing. They've got steamed things and fried things. In addition to all the food in the food opera, which is the food court of sorts, there's lots of independent restaurants out in Ion Orchard on the fourth floor and the second floor. Here's one specializing in soup and salad. Another one of my favorite food courts is this one. It's the Food Republic at Vivo City. I like it because there's always plenty of seats and it's got this old time feel as well. It's really convenient if you're going to Sentosa Island or uh, you're walking the trail up to Mount Faber or Faber Peak. So what did I get here today and what do I like from here? Well, I like the laksa. This is a uh, noodle soup with shrimp and it kind of has a coconut uh, milk base with chili pepper and uh, really delicious. What did I get to drink here? This is a lychee drink. Mm -hmm. Lychee flavor. It's got some lychees down in the bottom there. And uh, I also got my signature lime drink, which you drink this, mm, nice and sour, makes you pucker. You know, drinks at food courts are really expensive. These drinks, $2.60 each, so a little over $5, whereas my soup was eight Singapore dollars, so interesting value there. I guess ice in a hot country must be pretty expensive. In the bowl, we've got some delicious shrimp that they've cut in half, which is nice, so it's easy to eat. Uh, there's uh, tofu, 
This is chili pepper. If you want it spicy, they'll ask you if you want it spicy. They'll toss a glob of that in. There's uh, an egg over here. And then underneath, there are these delicious, delicious noodles, uh, along with some bean sprouts. And in case you want to get that tasty laksa, it's from the Prawn Mi Laksa Shop. My other favorite stall at this food court is the fried Hokkien prawn noodle store. Just like I had at Ion Orchard, this one always has a pretty good line, which means you know it's good. And it's fresh, so you can see them making it right there. And in case you want chicken rice and didn't get it at any of the other food courts, there's another branch of the Sargent Hainanese chicken rice stall here. And finally, at the front of the food court, there's a really impressive selection of Hong Kong roast meats. Those look pretty tasty. Once you're done dining at Vivo City, make sure to head right outside from the food court to Vivo City's Sky Deck. This is on the rooftop of the shopping center. It's got neat water features, neat art, and views of Sentosa Island. Just right next door to Ion Orchard, there's another really good food court in Wisma Atria. This food court is located on the fourth floor of Wisma Atria. It's called Food Republic, and it's got a connected Japan food town. I find the food court in Wisma Atria to be a little less of a mob scene than Ion Orchard, just because it's a little further away from the MRT, a little harder to find. While the Food Republic may look small when you first come up, there's more stalls in the back, and there's also more seating in the back. This one specializes in Odin beef noodles. This one here specializes in hot pots, so you can get all these ingredients from the hot pot of soup. And there's also an outpost of that Sergeant Hainanese chicken rice here. I tell you, every food court or hawker center is gonna have one or more places selling Hainanese chicken rice. And in the newly opened Japan food town, you'll find about 15 restaurants, all featuring delicious Japanese food. And you know what? When I walk into Japan food town, I do feel like I'm in a food hall in Japan. I love the slogan of this restaurant, no ramen, no life. And just in the corner between the Food Republic and Japan Food Town, you will find an outpost of Din Tai Fung, the Taiwanese soup dumpling chain. If you've never had soup dumplings from Din Tai Fung, you really should check them out. They're truly amazing. And you can see them making them in the window. Delicious. If they wait too long for Din Tai Fung, you can have some more Taiwanese food at Formosa Delights, handmade noodles, and hot stickers. Next up, a little further down Orchard Road at 313 Somerset, they have two food courts in this building. One on basement level three, which is the one right here, and one on level five. On the entire fifth floor of 313 at Somerset is a very large food republic. It takes up the entire fifth floor of the building. The Food Republic looks out on the Sky Terrace, an open air terrace with views of Orchard Road down below. A couple of other interesting touches at this food court are the inclusion of a large giraffe and elephant statues. There's a Indian cuisine here where you can see him making the prata. It's kind of like a crepe and they make it on this grill. Freshly made. Looks pretty good. This stall is simply called Fish Soup. I wonder what they sell. This stall is interesting. Tokyo Pasta Mario Pizza Udon. Interesting combination. The basement level three section also has a lot of Japanese restaurants. There's Koko Ichibanya, which is a Japanese chain that specializes in curry rice. And then just over here is a rotating sushi restaurant that all the sushi is $1.50 a plate. Goes around circles on the belt. There's a stall specializing in churros and also Xilin Taiwanese street snacks. If you like soup, up on basement level two is Soup Stock Tokyo, one of my favorite food chains, which is right next to Popeye's Louisiana Kitchen. Our next best food court is this one. Okay, now you're gonna be saying, Chris, you are not standing in front of a food court, you are standing in front of a fountain. Well, we are both correct. The food court is a Food Republic food court, and it's actually right behind the fountain in the basement level of the SunTech City Shopping Center. 
Really neat, if you come here for breakfast, you can dine at the Toast Box, have some traditional Kaya toast and coffee, and enjoy the view of the fountain. They do daily touch sessions at the fountain that you can go into the middle of the fountain and experience it from the center. There's also about 10 or 15 cool food stalls inside and a whole bunch of other restaurants that ring the fountain as well. And just on the other side of the fountain in the SunTech City Mall is a giant hyper-fresh supermarket. And this really is quite a giant supermarket. Hey, and if you're here in Asia, try some of my favorite fruits. These things back here, dragon fruits. They're kind of like a kiwi except a much more cooler outside. Purple and spiky. And the final best food court of Singapore is the one at the Marina Bay Sands Shops. This is in basement level two. It's called Raspura Masters. There's normally an ice skating rink over here. I'm not sure what's going on today. This isn't the cheapest food court. Actually, it's probably gonna be one of the more expensive ones, but you don't have a lot of other options at the Marina Bay Sands. And this one is decorated quite well and the food is also quite good. They really go all out in this food court. I love the chefs wearing their super tall white hats. My favorite stall here, guess what? It's the one that sells Singapore noodles. And what did I get? I got the char kui tao. Char kui tao literally means stir-fried rice cakes. And uh, this is rice noodles. There's a few egg noodles in there. Uh, probably a little bit of seafood, either some squid or some cockles, and some spicy chili sauce on the side. Pretty delicious. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more like it, I publish new videos every Sunday. Please subscribe, or you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, links in the description below. Or you might enjoy watching one of these other videos. Click any of them to watch or find links in the description below. In the upper left, you'll find my travel guide on Singapore in general. In the upper right, you'll find a video on Singapore's best air-conditioned food courts. In the lower left, you'll find a video on gardens by the bay. And in the lower right, you'll find my video on Singapore's Sentosa Island.